Yo, yo, it's your boy, Hippie X, rap from Cabana Boys. You know, rapping hard, peace, slow, rapping wisdom. And you are now locked in to the vote. All media, we here, we out here. My boy, Hippie X, what's up, Hippie? Yes, yes, rapping hard. How did you get the name Hippie X? Can you tell us? Well, that gives credit to Busby. Because, you know, when he was coming up in high school, the guys had, um, we was listening to TDE, and it was called Black Hippie Cup when we was coming up. Like, okay, okay. So since we listened to him so much, my boy was like, my rap name was Kid X. So he said, he used to call me Hippie X. And I was like, yo, yeah. that might have to run. Like, so then we, I took it, and one day I was like, yo, yeah, I'm changing it from now on. All right, so Hippie X in the building. And how long you been a part of Cabana Boys, Hippie X? I've uh, always been together type vibe, you know? Mm-hmm. It's just, it was collective of two, 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 two groups that marched together. So it was us. We had a couple names, like first was Hood Stars. Then it was Young Boys Entertainment. Then it was Young Revolutionaries. And Cabana Boys was the one, like, that, that was like, yeah, this one. Gives that art and vibe plus something different. Exactly. And then when I was away in England, these guys created like the Cabana Wave and it was like a song that I that I start that I fell in love with as well. So they they really took it and, and, and made it something. Yeah, and that's how you guys have gotta be. And like I like how you guys are young, you came together, you put your ideas together and you came up with something that works for you and then you and yourself. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, you've been doing really good with your sure, music. Appreciate that. No doubt, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, and I think your sound's really unique. So, is there anybody who you've been working with while you've been abroad? Um. Oh um, well, since I've been living in England, I've mixed between a lot of uh, a couple of English, British producers, and since coming back home now, catching that Cabana wave coming back. Yeah. Working with Jabari, working with you know YT. But me personally, I like, you know, if it's not a personal story, and I like talking some some real stuff and things that need to be said. So right. Things like, but being, coming back, like I said, coming to Cabana Way, they got me on a little party vibe. So I'm partying sometimes too. <laughs> Take a little swizzle, smoke a little ting, dance up a little ting, got to rap about that too. So, you know, yeah, that's, yeah. What, that's what, you know, the way it brings. But. Yeah, man, no doubt. But check out the music industry now. You see it grow. You have seen it change. What do you think about it? It's it's been interesting thirty times because you know we, we guys have been here for a minute. A couple of different artists like he's had the trials and tribulations with Bermuda. Um, think about Bermuda like everywhere else like they like to catch on when everybody catches on. Yeah. It's hard to get the individual likes initially. And once you get the wave like yeah everybody follows like yeah so, so true. It, it's we got a lot of talent, but what we need to do is start to hear me in on who's serious, who mm-hmm. wants to take the thing to the next level, and just make it into a global market. Cause we have the ability, we have the brains to make it into something that's like serious. Exactly. Yeah, I could agree with that, man, 100%. And I have to congratulate you for winning that competition recently, right? So tell us about it. Yeah, that was that was a that was a that was an interesting two days. Make some noise for final eyes, Hippie X, Hippie X. Come on, make some noise for Hippie X. Yo, if anything happened tonight, I want y'all to listen to the message in this music. Then if we fight, they kill my marshals for demonstration. And they always run to put down a nigga. Pull that pack, I ain't never stop. They can shoot, but I never drop. Take my mind from my music, use it just like a silly clock. Um, shout out to my flatmate, Sean. You know, he's been riding with you guys since I moved over there, so he is just online like he's like, yo, close to close, yeah, that boy's hot, let me sign him up, like so he just signed me up, like I didn't know buddy said yeah, but I signed up to this day. So next thing you know they got back to me like, yeah, I want you to come down like and do it. So, you know, you paid your entry fee and whatnot. Right, right. I'll get done. There was the struggle, like, because we stayed in Natwich crew at the time. 
It's pretty expensive to get down to London. Find a place to stay. So what had happened was that nobody really knows the story unless you watch the um the day to day ground about it. Mm-hmm. Instead we guys went on there, caught the train, had yeah. to pay extra because we missed the train. Got wow. down there. My boy didn't have his ID, so the hotel wouldn't let us stay any place that we needed to stay for the night, like. Mm-hmm. So we was looking around. Mom's called somebody in London who had a place, like, so she hooked we guys up with somewhere to stay for the night. So he shows out to him, went down to the competition, finally got there. It's a miracle. I was the last person <laughs> to go on. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Grand Poo from New York. Like, yeah, he came and did this solid. Everybody else was okay. A couple guys from Canada, you know, nice. different people, lady from Spain. Some, some, and some of this stuff was interesting. Like, you know, you go on American, American Idol, and some of them were like, okay. You know, this is not really the competition <laughs> for you, but yeah, you know, yeah. There was some heat there, and, and, you know, some London guys. But my boy Grand Poo, he did his thing. And then I hopped on last, and then they was like, okay, did not see that coming, like so. You know, it was it was a blessing, and then finding out I won after the trials and tribulations of being there. Then it was is it was worth the win. It was definitely worth the win. <laughs> When you come out here, man, have that energy. Right, First yo. and second place both yeah. had that that energy and captivated the crowd. Hippie X, shout out to Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, SoundCloud, whatever you got, man. <laughs> All right, uh, Twitter, Instagram is Kush Rap Love. You can check out Facebook and YouTube is HIPPY SpaceX. Shout out to my man Hill in the camera because he had a board, board night one night. So he did and said, yo, I'm going to sign my boy up. So thanks to him for real. Hey, thanks to everybody. Thanks for Coast to Coast for giving me guys this opportunity. Because from a small island of Bermuda, trying to get exposure into bigger places, bigger countries, is, is, is a lot of hard work. So thanks for, you know, making it a little easier for me guys. Appreciate that. Yeah, man, that's what's happening. You got a lot of people rocking with you because I didn't even know who you was, but so much people had came to me telling me who you are. Right, right, right. Yeah, man, that's what's up. Okay, that means a lot because... I didn't even know, like, you know, people mess with me. I just keep it moving. I know, you know, like, all of you guys know when our time pops, our time pops. So just keep working. I didn't know, you know. Yeah. So shout out to, you know, those that, you know, look out for uh-huh. us. You know, really, like, you know? Yeah, for sure. So who who do you want to work with, artist-wise? Oh, uh, as in Bermuda artists? It's, yeah. There's a lot of Bermuda artists I want to work with. I want to work with okay. YT. Shout out to YT. Yeah, Shout out to Mal, shout out to Clash, you know what I mean? I came in, you guys had some hot beat popping, you know what I mean? Versus <laughs> on, on my boy Cabana <laughs> Earl on it. So I was like, oh, mercy, this is, I said, that for do something. But then, you know, you know, I want to work with somebody, the, the old school Bermuda heavyweights, like maybe, you know, called Daniel, Corbin Melody, you know what yeah. I mean? Somebody that's, that could teach me. You know something that they they could bring to the table that I haven't experienced yet. You know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And then globally, then maybe this British guy is doing this thing called Dion Delucia. Shout out to my boy Luke Thompson, who's hot on these beats. Okay. And you know Ryan Benson, Cameron is you know a lot of British guys I want to work with as well. Like he's been doing the things and like getting Bermuda guys to link with them because they they like to work with these people same way. Like so. That's, yeah, that's, you know that's what the what the future's going to bring. Like, you know, yeah, it's all about networking. Yeah. That's what's yeah, up there. For sure, for sure. So as far as your music and your projects, what can we look forward to with Hippie Axe? Um, got a couple of tracks brewing. Um, we're, we're working on a group project. We see, we see how that goes. Um, I'm about to get into project mode in the next two to three weeks. So hopefully you got something EP out of me by November. Okay. A lot of music, but I just need to hem it together, get a concept, and but a lot of new music to come. Always recording, like hip is working, Cabana's working, good. Everybody's working, you know what I mean? Yeah. So 
A lot of new music to come. Working on videos. Definitely going to get the day to day grind back up and running. Mm-hmm. You know? You can check that out on YouTube. Same way. Like, so. Just keep keep it going and see what network we could do and just, you know, make a new brand like you guys do Vogue. You know what I mean? That's a brand that you guys are hemming in and making yeah. a whole another media outlet for you guys that you know, we're going to appreciate and we appreciate now. Like, but, you know, you know how it is. They don't see the vision until right. they see the vision. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah, so true, keep, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Like, you know what I mean? Shout out to Clash. You guys are doing the thing. Like, you know what I mean? Thank you, keep man. Keep it up. Keep it up for sure. Like. Thanks, man. Bless her. So before we end your interview today, um, who do you want to give a shout out to? Uh, shout out to Cabana Boys, of course. Shout out to, you know, the, the Bermuda Vote. Shout out to any youngin grinding. Shout out to all my boys out foreign. Shout out to my flatmates. Shout out to Rasta over Basel Swanks. That's, that's family. You know, you always got to shout them out. You know, and, you know, everybody keep pushing. Stay tuned, Cabana Boys, Hippie X, Miss Miles, Class, you know what I mean? We vote, all the good things to come, good minds that we get, you know what I mean? Develop, so just stay tuned, stay tuned. Is there any advice you would give to up and coming artists? Um, don't let, don't let other people's shine or having what other people do bring down your self esteem or what you're doing, like, cause you know that happens sometimes, you're like, mercy. I'm putting in this much work. This guy did this thing overnight and I can't even like get in the leeway. It takes time, everything takes hard work. So like, you know, if you believe in yourself and you know you got something, yeah. just take the time, plan it out, stick to the plan. Keep mm-hmm. it, make a five year plan, make a 10 year plan, stick to the plan. Like, so if you fail, fall off the plan sometimes, you always know what the end goal, or, or at least for that step, the end goal for that. So keep, make a plan, stick to it and don't let nobody shine or negativity bring you down and keep grinding on uh honey you heard it here first stick to the plan thank you for coming hippie yeah of course hoping to come back next time i come back you know what i mean yeah i'm gonna keep in contact with you man for sure for sure for sure for sure